Right, so this is just a wee quick video. Um, I'm still doing stuff. I know I don't post videos much. Uh, I've got a video to do for Emmy Station and Gamers as well. Uh, the new updates, because they're getting updated soon. Basically, this is the soft mod, so this is my Xbox soft mod until the next update is 1.1.5 and what that does is that should fix the fixed soft mod loop. Um, I think it's because some people's C partition is just under 500 megabytes. So if it is, it can't create the shadow C image. Um, there's just not enough memory. So what I do now is if I can't create the large one, I reduce it by 5 megabytes and I create a smaller one which should fix all the looping fixed soft mode issues. Um, that was rare. I couldn't recreate it other than deliberately uh, making my C partition smaller so that it can't create the shadow image file. Um, so that's the only thing I can think of that was causing it. The next thing will also be is dash load has been updated. So now there's a back door. So if, for example, uh, you corrupt your dashboard. So I've got a habit of FTP and XBMC over. And before I'm finished FTPing it, I end up restarting the Xbox because I'm impatient and I end up in a locked screen. I end up in a black screen because as far as dash load is concerned, the XB file is there. Because it is, it's just corrupt. So it can't load it. And the way dash loader works is there's 24 dashboard paths and it will go from the top, top one to the bottom one. If it can't find the top one, it goes to the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one, etc. Until it finds a valid XBE file and then it loads it. Um, if it can't find any of the valid dashboard paths, it will then boot one of the three recovery dashboards. If it can't find the recovery dashboards on the e-partition, it will then boot the recovery dashboard that's on the real C partition, the hidden partition that nobody should be touching. So, I'll focus. Right, so I corrupted that XBE file. So, what I'll do is I'll restart the Xbox. And what will happen is once it boots, it'll go to a black screen. Now the LED will be orange on the front and it will do nothing. It will just sit here. Now it's not a hard lock and a hard lock is where if you eject the console basically the kernel's crashed and it's saying reboot console. Eh, it won't reboot because it's not a hard lock. What's happening is, is it's cycling through the dashboards. Basically it's, it's on a wait period. So what it's doing is looking for the dashboard is fine and it can't load it, repeat. So now, what you can do is you can hold the start button and Y button and it will load one of the recovery dashboards. Which then can let you spin back round. FTP over. A fixed XB file. This time you're not impatient. Spin back round. Now I'll do the IGR. Three fingers on my nose. And it will now load into whatever dashboard you were FTPing over, whatever XB file you corrupted, for example. And that's it. Um, you can also uh, force the recovery dashboard at any point in time. All you do now is you hold start and Y on startup and what will happen is it will automatically boot into a recovery dashboard. So if you want to reinstall your C partition, uh, your dashboard on C then you can do it this way or if you just, I don't know, but you can do it anyway. Um, so yeah, it's, it's basically just another backdoor uh, so that you don't have to insert a disk to fix anything. Uh, because you shouldn't really need to. I'm trying to make it so that you can fix everything on the Xbox without requiring a disc. Because that makes everything so much simpler. And I'm fed up by having to put a disc in to fix XBMC when I bugger it up. So, this was mainly for me. But, you know, side effect is you all get an even safer soft mod where you can fix stuff right through the Xbox. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. 
Um, there'll be a few videos for gamers in MU Station in the next couple of weeks because uh, I've got an update for gamers which is basically done. Uh, and I've also got an update for MU Station but I'm still working on. I'm just adding stuff to making sure everything's working etc. Um, but they'll be in the next couple of weeks I think. Just mid-December at the latest. So anyway, cheers for watching. Bye-bye.